you are not the source of your spouse's happiness. You are not the source of their fulfillment. You are not the source of their becoming. Like, it's either Jesus or not. And that was hard for me because I just wanted to take care of you. And society says the husband takes care of the wife. So the husband, you know, and so in my mind, it's like, I have to take care of Janice. I have to make all of her dreams come true. I have to give her the house that she wants. I have to give her the kids that she wants. I have to. And you're like, I've not asked you for any of that stuff. But you have. Well, thank you. But. I, and I'm I've, grateful. I've tried to do it through the proper perspective and process, mm-hmm. which is not in my own strength, though it still is hard. Like, I still do mm-hmm. think to myself, you know, now yeah. I will say at Christmas, I give you what you want. I try to give you what you want. You also call me the Christmas bully, though. You are a Christmas bully. So do you think all husbands feel a degree of that kind of pressure? Yes. I've never met a husband who doesn't feel that. And... Mm-mm, nope, never. Even if it's subtle, it's very, it's very much present. Hmm. It may not be like overt and like the thing that guides them in a way that everyone around them can see. Mm-hmm. But I've never encountered a husband who doesn't have in him this desire to like Make see his wife flourish. Flourish. And, yeah. yeah. And I feel like that's supposed to be yeah. what it is. I think. Yeah, as long as you give it to the Lord, because that could get heavy. Well, that's the hard part. Yeah. Because we're also told in condition in society that it's on us, not on the Lord. So Uh it's a very mixed message. If you don't have community around you and accountability around you and leadership around you and, you know, commitment to Christ doing the work, I do think it becomes very like, okay, well, got to go to work, got to drive the car, got to fill up the gas tank. It's all on me, all on me. and. Then you get burned out and you end up resenting everyone. Including the wife that you're doing it all Definitely for. Definitely the wife. Not that I <laughs> resent you. But, oh, oh, oh. But, I mean. But it's something to have yeah. to work through. You yeah. know what I mean? You could you could walk around and realize I've given everything. And, you know, you're a very you're a very gracious person in general. Thanks, like, honey. You know, you know, thank you. <laughs> uh, see? Like, you're very gracious. Thank you. <laughs> but it's like, you know, if you weren't so gracious about stuff or if you didn't pause and say, hey, Thank you for, you know, could you do me a favor and get that down for me? Um, and then I get it down yeah, for I'm you and it's like, four eleven and a half. You. So Yeah. I but ask you like, that a lot. You do ask me quite a bit to get things down for you, but it's, you know. I'll be honest. Sometimes I just, the step ladder, so it's either the step stool or mm-hmm. the step ladder. But the step ladder is about my height. So it's obnoxious to go and get. Oh, yeah. Go, no, that's a lot. Okay. Okay. That's so th- lot. thank you. I Listen, appreciate you. It, it keep, job security. The job longer security. you need me to go get things for you, the longer I'm here. <laughs>